Hey dudes, today I want to talk about dialogue editing. It's such a mystery, but it's so important. So I'm going to try to be as short and sweet and succinct as possible. I'll probably continue using alliteration across this episode to help stick it in these old noggins. But basically what we're trying to do before we mix before we get hardcore plugins to denoise and remove unwanted stuff, we need to set up our clips of dialogue in a specific order in order to have it play back as smooth as possible when we play from left to right. As promised, here's a little more alliteration. Basically what we're doing with dialogue is fixing. We are fixing with fades and fill. Okay, so first things first. We have to split these clips apart. All we need to do is click here with the hand grabber, let go, hold control, click one more time, drag down, it stays in sync, we move it down a track. At the very most basic level of dialogue editing, two tracks will be enough. If you've heard of the phrase checkerboarding, here's what it looks like. Feel free to use more than two tracks, that's okay, but don't get crazy and have 20, 30, 40, 50 tracks for no reason. Okay, so let's listen to the first clip and see what we got. Here is a really clean section of me speaking with no unwanted sounds and plenty of fill in the handles. All we gotta do is just make a fade. Right? A first sort of golden rule to this is that we want to make overlaps between the clips. So I'm going to delete my fade. And what I'm going to do is pull out the handle by hovering over the end of the clip, clicking and dragging. And oh my goodness, if I hit Shift and S to solo this track, take a listen. That is the sound of the most perfect fill possible. Now, what is fill? Just really quickly. Fill is basically dead air or a piece of the recording from this particular clip that doesn't have dialogue. In this case, all I needed to do is pull out the handle and I found it right away. Sounds like nothing to some people. To me, it sounds like pure gold and I'm really excited. And then all we need to do is create a fade. So I'm going to go here and hit G for example. And that is the start of a great dialogue edit. So now we need to do the same thing with this clip here. So let's see if we get lucky by pulling out the handle. Uh oh. Example number two. Okay, so we don't want that because if we played the clips together, any of fill in the example handles. number two, we must go searching for some fill. How about this side of the clip? Okay, well, this looks good over here, but again, this stuff over here is probably unwanted. So let's listen. What do I do if I need the clip to stop here, but I keep speaking and I need to find fill elsewhere? So I don't want this stuff over here. So I can delete that. Now that I found this juicy piece of fill here, I can recycle it within this clip only. I can't use it across my whole movie, but definitely within this clip, I can use it more than once. So remember, there's some unwanted stuff there. So all I gotta do is click and drag that there. And I'm going to Command C, Command V, and remember, all of this was unwanted. So all I gotta do is drag this over to get rid of that. Make a little crossfade there. Make a long fade here and take a listen. With no unwanted sounds and plenty of fill in the handles. This is more of a run-on sentence situation where, great, 
So this is what it should look like. You should have long, smooth fades. The longer the fade, the harder it is for our ears to detect that the fade is happening. So you don't want to limit yourself with little tiny fades. Okay, so let's go to the end of the clip. I'm gonna zoom in. You saw me earlier make a one frame crossfade. I usually do that between the clip and the fill just to make sure there isn't a click or a pop or something between the two clips. Make my nice, long, smooth fade. And now let's listen to the third clip and a new problem. Sometimes you have a relatively clean recording, but in between lines of dialogue, there's an unwanted sound. What do I do? Good question. Same rules apply. We're gonna fix it with fill. So, pull that out. Got lucky there. Pull it out. Not so lucky there. So, gonna find my fill. Copy a section of that. Maybe paste it here, put it over that unwanted section. Same thing that I did earlier. I can just butt that right up against it, pull this out as far as I can, make a nice, long, smooth edit, and grab a little piece of that juicy fill, paste it over here, create my fade again, bring this over here, that was maybe a little bit too big, but it's not a big deal. We can just make adjustments on the fly, no worries. Can't go that far, that's the bad sound. But I could go to about there. Crossfade, crossfade. I had a little tiny mouth click here. This is how sensitive sometimes it can get. If I just pull it back ever so slightly. A relatively clean recording, but in between, lines of dialogue, there's an unwanted sound. The sounds of success, we did it. We got through our first lesson of dialogue editing. Remember, in the most ideal situation, you'll have plenty of fill in your handles. You can just pull them out, make your long fades, call it good. All I did was, again, fix my dialogue primarily by creating fades and finding fill. Remember that alliteration. Remember that also every movie is going to be slightly different. But this is a good, clean example for you guys to look at and carry on to all of your projects. I hope you had a good time. I hope this wasn't too crazy. I tried to make it as simple as possible, and I will. See you on the next one. Later, dudes.